What's up everyone, this is CyberKnight8610, and today we have a special opening for you guys. We have the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Hero Clicks Series 2. Yes, we got another box of this. I got it from StrikesOnline.com. Be sure to check them out. Link in the description. And uh, yeah, we opened up Series 1, a box... Uh, it's been a few months, I guess. It has been a while. But yeah, Series 2 finally came out. I never knew uh, when it was going to come out, too, because the release date. You know, the release date kept changing, I think, on that, or it seemed like it did. Also, you get Fiber Jar right there. I guess it's the one you're guaranteed to get if you get a box like that. I, I don't know why they wouldn't go with, like, Blaze Ultimate or something like that, though. That's what they should do. But yeah, this is like, you get the packs out like this, and it comes with a figure and uh, a card that goes with it. Let's see, do these have, like, easy tear things? Yes, they do. Let's see what we get. First off, it looks like we have uh, Gamma the Magnet Warrior. That's what the card says. So, let's go on ahead. Do like this. There you go. There's Gamma. That's cool to see the Magnet Warriors, too. I think, like, their fusion or whatever is in this. Not really a fusion, but it's like the combined effect monster. Let's see. There we go. You can open it from this side easier. Let's see, we have uh, Thorn Princess. Yeah, I remember that card. This is kind of funny, they're kind of going with a little bit more obscure uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards now on a few of these. Like, I think there's even a few from the uh, the championship season or whatever that was like filler, but it had like, uh, oh, what all was that? It had like the fairy tale monsters and stuff. Let's see, Electric Lizard for this one, as you can see there. That was from Castle Monsters, I think, yeah. That was also in. I know it's a card too, but that's where I remember it from more. It's the Capsule Monsters. Yeah, here we go. We have a Forest Wolf, which is like a Little Red uh, Riding Hood, the wolf from that. Yeah, it's uh, one of the cards that uh, Leon uses from that uh, season. I forgot what the... It's like the World Championship season, or I forgot exactly what the name was of it. It was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. I think you get it with the, the final season of Yu-Gi-Oh! If you get that on DVD. You get it something like that. I know they redid it on DVD, which is good. We have, well, let me see. Get the card with it. There we go. Beta the Magnet Warrior, as you can see here. Looks pretty cool. We got Gamma and Beta. These packs squeak a lot. <laughs> Sorry if it's an annoying sound on there. There we go. And we have a Little Red Riding Hood. So I guess that will go with the wolf. <laughs> kind of kind of interesting that they're going with uh, some of the, like the anime only cards. Maybe we'll have to make a video talking about them. That'd be kind of funny if they actually printed some of those, like another Dragons of Legend pack or something. Give us those. There we go, Fiber Jar. We're already guaranteed to get one of them, as you can see right there. But uh, there's another one for us. Funny to see that as a figure as well. I really hope that uh, next series or something on these that they end up going with. Uh, like having GX monsters, because I love seeing Elemental Heroes in this. See, so we have a Boar Soldier. And they have said there is going to be a Series 3. So I'd love to see, like, GX and then 5Ds in the future and stuff too. Like, everyone getting that, that country, like a Stardust Dragon one. Little figure and everything. Another Forest Wolf. And we still have plenty of packs in here. They're just all kind of in there. There we go. Cobra Man Sakuzi. Yeah, I remember that one. That's uh, <laughs> another one that's kind of funny to to bring into uh, a figure like that. Not really a well-known card, but I remember, I remember the card itself. Don't remember exactly what set it's from, though. Forest Hunter. I believe that goes with uh, the Little Red uh, Riding Hood like monsters. I'd like to see Tamias and Critias and Hermos in these, too, in the future. Let's see, well, our figure, I guess, kind of... There we go. We have uh, four-star Ladybug of Doom. Remember that one. And, uh, yeah, the, it's kind of in there a little bit different. That's what kind of threw me off. Yeah, just a Ladybug on there. I remember one of the games, that that card was evil. I think it was one of the PC games for Kaiba. Which I actually found those, by the way. I found the Joey and Kaiba uh, CDs on there. So we'll be going through those on my Let's Play channel as well. Boar Soldier, another one of those. So a few doubles so far. I have room for all these figures. Come on, Blue Eyes Ultimate. 
Let's see, we have uh, Dark Assailant. Uh, wasn't he in Dungeon Dice Monsters? I think he was. I, I know he was a card too, but I think he was also in Dungeon Dice. Sorry, never right. There you go. And we have another Cobra Man, uh, Sakuzi. Such a weird word to say. <laughs> Running out of room. There you go. Come on, Blue Eyes Ultimate, or Dark Magician Girls even in this, or something like that. A little more well-known. We have a Yada Garasu. Oh, that's that's pretty cool, actually. Seeing Yada Garasu as a figure. And there you go. There's more of a well-known one. Why didn't they go with, like, Black Luster Soldier and Chaos Emperor Dragon as well? They should have done that. Go with the whole Chaos format into this game. Hey, we have to suffer through it. The Hero Clicks players can suffer through it, too. <laughs> Thorn Princess, another one of those. Getting a few doubles now. Hopefully, kind of mix it up here in a second. There we go. And we have uh, Master Kion Chi, which, uh, yeah, I remember this one too. Cool looking. It's cool to see that one as well. Kind of, like I said, we're running a room on this table. This box takes up like half of my table that I use for these videos. <laughs> There we go. Another four-star ladybug of doom. This one's in the packaging a little bit better, as you can see. Let's kind of stack it with the other one. And I think we only have a few packs left. So we have another dark assailant. Uh, where was he? There. We'll kind of stack that one. And yeah, we still have a few packs in there. I'm just kind of back in there still. So you're getting quite a few figures if you buy one of these. There we go. Another Yada Grasu. Let's see, where was the other one? There we go. Come on, Blue Eyes Ultimate. Or Dark Magician Girl or something. Come on. We have, uh, there we go, Magician of Black Chaos. I'll definitely take that one. That looks awesome. Let's figure. Hopefully, is it focusing in pretty well on that? Let me, go, let me take the plastic off this one. Since it is, I mean, come on. Magician of Black Chaos. There you go. You should be able to See it pretty well. There we go. I think it focused in on you. It's hard to see, too, because it's a darker uh, figure like that, but it looks awesome. I love this figure. That looks so cool. That's one of the main ones I was wanting, too. Still love to get that Blue Eyes Ultimate, though, because that was, like, the main reason I wanted to get this. So, maybe we'll get that. I'm glad I at least got Fusion Black Chaos. There we go. We got a Valkyrion, the Magna Warrior. So, that was the one I was talking about. That's the effect monster. It's, like, uh, the fusion, basically, of the uh, different Magnet Warriors. Everyone should remember that. Let's see, this is our I think this is our last one. And we have <laughs> Balloon Lizard. <laughs> Definitely one of the top ones I would want to make into a figure. <laughs> that looks kind of funny. I don't know. It, it it's, it's kind of funny looking little figure for that. And uh, yeah, I believe that's all. I'm just going to double check. Yep. And also, if you get the box, make sure you get Fiber Jar out of that. Because you don't want to accidentally like, throw away the box and uh, you know throwing away Fiber Jar then, basically. But yeah, we were able to get uh, some pretty cool ones. I wish we would have got the last Magnet Warrior that we needed. We needed Alpha on that. So maybe I can get that uh, later on. And uh, Magician of Black Chaos, I'm glad I got that. That was one of the main ones I was wanting. Hopefully later we'll get uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate as well. Got a few doubles and stuff too. So, uh, you know, of course doubles and stuff like that will be for trade or sell or whatever if you guys want. And uh, yeah, again, I think this is a cool game. It's kind of like the way I felt about Dice Masters. It's something that uses the Yu-Gi-Oh! license. So it's uh, something to try out if you want to try out something a little bit different that uses, you know, your favorite monsters from Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's really nostalgic too. I mainly like this because I like the figures. Um, you know, I really like collecting different figures and stuff. That's and Amiibos are like evil for me even for Nintendo because I've gotten where I've started collecting those even and uh, that's one of the main reasons I like it but the game's a lot of fun too. I played it a little bit online. Uh, unfortunately I don't think the Yu-Gi-Oh figures are on the online version or the one I was playing at least. I was playing like the official one so hopefully they'll add those at some point. I don't know if they still support it or not but hopefully they will and uh, I would love to play this a lot more. As always though thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe and of course I will catch you guys later. See ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.